Hi guys, it's Taff. Welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, here we are with me and uh, we've just completed our first run from Cambridge, which is our hometown, to London to drop off some car parts, I remember. Uh, we're currently with uh, just under four grand. So what we need, we'll need to uh, have a look at the job market and get another job. Only quick jobs at the moment because we haven't we need to save up and buy our own truck and then we can start our company uh, in earnest. So, um, okay, you can go anywhere, but because we're in London, let's let's try and keep it reasonably realistic and uh, start from London and then go out from there. So, um, what have we got? We've got fertilizer to Rotterdam. Uh, Dry milk to Rotterdam. A quick one to Felix though, which will only take two hours. Uh, or Rotterdam. So it's Rotterdam or Felix though. Um, for the money. Oh, let's go to Felix though because it's it's shorter, and uh, the money is not. You know, there's, there's a couple of a few hundred quid in it or a few hundred euros in it either way. So. Um, and we've got 11 minutes to take that one, so let's take that one. And we're at the um, post-bid, po is it post-bed or pos-ped? I don't know how you pronounce it, um, depot anyway. So here we go, we've got an Aveco truck. Let's have a look around. Oh look, it's got some uh, metal effect. Um, yeah, it's a little bit, I've got a bed at the back there, look. Um, it's a little bit more, oh wow, look at all those bad boys. Um, it's a little bit basic and a little bit less luxurious than the Mercedes. Let's have a quick look from outside. Yeah, but it's, it's a nice enough truck. With glare coming off the uh, the white paintwork, but um, okay. So is it post bed, post bed, or pos bed? Post bed sounds better, I think. It's probably not how you pronounce it, but we'll go for pos bed or post bed. <laughs> I keep changing it every time I do it. So um, right, let's start this bad boy up. And we're off to Felixstowe. So, uh, how do we get out of here? Now that was, is that the exit? No, it's this way. Oh, look at that. I love the um, the sat nav on the dash there. It's probably on all of them, but I've only just noticed it. So that's pretty cool. Let's take it nice and wide around here. Okay. Okay, this one's got uh, some sort of motorized brake or a retarder on it because, uh, yeah, you can hear they go doo and it slows down really quick. Um, okay, we want to take a right out of here. Okay, nothing coming. Okay, run away. You have new mail. Okay, uh, now let's concentrate on driving. Let's not try and read the mail as we go along. Maybe if we got on a motorway and we get a bit more time. Actually, look at the dash. I love the dash on these. It's a lot sexier dash dash than the uh, uh, than the uh, Mercedes. We've got a Range Rover coming on the outside of us. Oh, I'm cutting us up. What What are you doing? What are you? Fine, I'll go past you then. This is the oh, he's pulling away. What? What? What have I ever done to you? Let's beep, beep him for that bloody say He's probably a footballer or something. Uh, I don't know. Oh, look, got some um, in that field up there. We have got some sort of Indian village, like teepees, or I think that's actually a uh, a European way of stacking straw, which uh, yeah we really don't use that in the UK, but it's still a nice little uh, still a nice scene. Okay, I'll keep looking at the, uh, the sat nav on the dash <laughs> rather than the one superimposed in the corner, which is uh, it's pretty cool. So we want to go we want to go straight on here. Let's let him go by and let's. Back onto the M25. 
Let's go wide. Go on, listen to that. Ooh. Taking that a bit tight. Let's give ourselves a bit room. So we've got a bit of a, a swing angle. I'm sure there's a more technical term than that, but... Oh, she's struggling. Come on. Come on. How is the road? Oh, it's, it's quite busy, actually. Oh, but we can blend in, so it's fine. 50 miles an hour here. Try not to hit the cones. Did where'd that lorry go? He must have pulled off. Didn't see where that lorry went. Okay. Don't worry, we, we, we're, we're accelerating very slowly, so we're not going to um, worry about the the 50 mile an hour speed, though, because we're, we're we're not even at 30 yet. And again, not. Wanting to harp on about it, roadworks with no one actually doing any work. Uh, I don't know. Okay, we're getting up to 40 now, so. Uh, let's indicate out. Okay, we're on our way back to Cambridge actually. Just, uh, just reset the um, the track IR because I was drifting a little bit and that was putting me off. There you go, that's much better. Okay, we're in the middle lane, London. We're gonna keep going straight. Is this the M25? We must be. Yeah, M11, Felix Dovers. Yeah, we're going to Felix Dover, aren't we? Okay, 55 miles an hour, we're doing quite nicely. This truck drifts a wee bit, but um, it could be my control and, or my driving ability, actually. Yeah, it's probably my driving ability. Okay, Felix Stowe is going left, so let's get up in the left lane nice and early. Onto the A12. Oh, we're on the rumble strip. I wonder what the hell's that noise? It's going to slow down because you get horrible, horrible acceleration on these trucks when you're going downhill sometimes. Don't want to get a wiggle on. Okay, no, did that nicely. Uh, we're only an hour and 35 minutes away, so should be another easy two and a half grand. And once we once we off offload this, we'll uh, check our mail, see what that is. Oh look, got a hot air balloon with the uh, the vultures circling. I hope that's not ominous for them. That's uh, oh look, is a oh god, hang on, is a lake over there? Uh, it's slow traffic. Whoa, red car! What are you doing? Well, I probably did cut you up a little bit, but I was indicating. Okay, let's get past him. Oh, we're running out of juice. Oh, he's turning off anyway. That's good. So, yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, God. Get off that bloody rumble strip. <laughs> It's uh, it's incredibly, as I said in the last ep uh, last episode, it's incredibly relaxing. Just uh, where's okay, um, just driving your truck down these roads. Oh, actually, we're going to slow down a bit. Stick at forty nine miles an hour. Stick it on cruise control because we've got speed cameras coming up. Yeah, it's incredibly relaxing. Uh, I really do enjoy it. A speed camera. Uh, and yeah, if you haven't got it, I do, and you, and you do like driving games, and you just like something, or maybe just simulation games, you want something a little bit different, um, you know, you get, A, you get the this part of the game, which is the uh, enjoyable driving part, and shipping goods left, right and centre, but there's also the management part of it as well, so as we get some more money, we'll be able to buy a, or upgrade our, our base and buy other bases in different towns. You can also um, buy more trucks and uh, 
hire other drivers, uh, so they'll start bringing incomes in as well. And obviously, the bigger uh, the uh, the base, the more trucks and drivers you can have um, stationed at that base. So um, yeah, it brings in the whole management side as well because uh, as you level up, you get to uh, allocate skill points or you know their equivalent of skill points anyway into you know things like long distance driving, economical driving. Uh, you know, hazardous material certificates, that kind of thing, and you can also do that for any hired drivers you employ. So, yeah, there, there's a nice management aspect to this game as well, which really does make it. It it's really is a nice polished piece of work, actually. I really do enjoy it, and I can't wait for the expansion, which is uh, going to add on a uh, large part of Eastern Europe as well, which will be fantastic, uh, and also. Uh, it's adding in uh, more content, things like you know, uh, more variety of AI traffic. So you know, as this look, this transit van comes past us now, it'll also add in like a flat, a flatbed version where you'll have like building materials in the back or you know, that kind of thing, which just just adds to variety and uh, makes it feel a little bit better. So it's a pretty good base to start from anyway, the base game. So. Uh, yeah, as I say, check it out. I think it's reasonably cheap on Steam. And you won't be disappointed if you enjoy your, your, your driving and your simulator games. Ooh, I thought I might have taken that a little bit quick, but no. It's just, whoa, 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 whoa. I got a little bit quick going down there. Scared myself a little bit, but we made it. Incident free, thank God. I should, if I hadn't gone woo, you probably never have known. Uh, I might just edit that bit out so you don't hear the sound. Okay, what's this green card going to do? Oh, it's, go on then, go on then, go on. I'm oh, coming behind you. Fine, let him go. Okay, we're we're only six miles out, so we're pretty damn close. So should we come into Felix though any minute? Yep, you can tell we're coming into. Uh, I think Felix Stowe's in Suffolk, isn't it? Uh, so all the fields, agriculture, and all that. Oh, here we go. More roadworks. Or just building works while it's fit. Oh no, it said Felix Stowe that way, but we're not going to go off there. Felix Stowe discovered! Yay! 30 miles an hour. It's got some average speed cameras on there. When are you doing 20? Okay, do you reckon there's going to be any people working on these building works? Oh, look at that, doing a whole bridge. Uh, oh no, no, look! They're, people, they're actually people working! Oh my goodness! Well, I say working. They're standing about looking at the traffic, thinking, ooh, it's too warm to work. But, uh. Whoa, hello. Truck down the outside. Oh, we are only doing 25 miles an hour. But that's fine. There's no rush. We're two minutes in. Or two minutes out, I mean. So we, we don't want to damage it now. So, welcome to Felix Doe. Um, that's a hotel by the looks of it. And we've got something there. Auto World. Oh no, I want to go straight over here. You watch us get cut by uh, cars in the outside lane. Oh no, good on him, he slowed down. And he saw that we were... We needed to use a bit of extra room, that's lovely coming off that roundabout. Driven like a pro. They got the port cranes in front of us there, offloading the cargo from the ships, the big old cargo containers. Okay, let's just slow down. It's got a car on the outside, so we're a little bit tight, and I think we're coming in here, are we? Ah, uh, here we are. 
Okay, um, that looks a bit trickier to park, so I may just skip this one. So we have one go. We'll have one go. So we'll look out the back. It's a bit cheating in it, looking out right the back like that. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. No idea where my steering wheel is now. Spin the wheels that way, and let's bring her in. Oh, back to grow reverse. That'll do. <laughs> okay, excellent. Flower delivered from London to Felixstowe. Hundred and what? No, one hundred and three miles driven. Took us two two hours thirty three minutes. And we consumed 82.8 .8 litres of fuel. Okay, well that netted us 2,459 euros and 168, no, 167 XP. Uh, and I think we just levelled up to level one. Yay! So this is this is this is what I was talking about with the skills, the skill points. Uh, you got various things. So you got the ADR training, which is basically your uh, your levels of um, hazardous material, which will allow you to, uh, you know take what's the first one is explosives class two is flammable gases um, non -flam flammable gases poisonous gases and you've got uh, class three which is flammable flam flammable liquids plus four which is flammable solids six which is toxic and infectious substances which sounds awesome and eight, which is corrosive substances, which will be acids and the like. So you've got long distance, which allows you to, so if we upgrade this, and uh, we can drive deliveries up to 217 miles in distance, which will add 5% higher reward uh, for delivery distances longer than 155 miles. And we'll get a 25% bonus experience for delivery distances longer than 155 miles. Then there's the high value cargo, which is, uh, which will allow us to transport various levels of high value cargo, um, things like cars and stuff like that. Then you've got fragile goods, uh, just in time deliveries, which are, you know, last minute things, and eco driving, which will allow us to save fuel. But uh, there's no point doing eco driving until we get our own truck because, uh, well, somebody else is pick picking up the bill, then it doesn't matter. But I think we'll go for. I'm thinking either. Um, one of our first classes or maybe long let's go for long distance on this one just so we can uh, we can do some di long distance driving so here we are we've got 6,381 euros uh, and let's just check our email brand new majestic trucks for sale dear sir madam we are, sorry, we are a certified retailer of Majestic Trucks. We offer a wide selection of different configurations and can also perform customizations to accommodate any special wishes. Please visit our showroom in Stuttgart. The truck you have always dreamt of might be waiting just behind the door. Okay, so that's from them. We've also got the bank who, uh, no. So you can check out the truck dealers and they'll see we got an email from these guys in Stuttgart. Uh, but we can't afford a truck just yet, so um, there's no point having a look. So there we are, we're in Felixstowe, we've successfully delivered um, load number two, uh, and next time out we'll look to do the same again, another hired load, uh, just to try and bring the cash up, and then we'll um, see where we can go from there. So um, thanks for joining me, if you've liked it then please comment and uh, favourite, as any all the support really does... Uh, really does help the series and I really do appreciate it as well. So yeah, so thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time.